Scammer Dude 2088, and we're back for another video on my Magic Elemental Guardians. And today, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite things in the game Curse, and what it does, and how it's used, and how you should be using it. Alright, so Curse says here disables a percentage of targets HP for a number of turns. Disabled HP becomes unusable while effect is active. So, once you curse a unit, let's just say, for instance, the fire uh, necro, fire, uh, he has a curse ability that disables 20% of the HP. Now, once that HP is being disabled, they, they pretty much take that as damage. So that disabled HP that they lose, that 20% from whatever the current HP uh, is at that time, that's what they lose. So it stacks as well, too. So if you get a number of those stacks, they lose in that 20% for each one. Now, also, since this unit provides uh, attack, bar, uh, attack bar mitigation on the enemy by not allowing them to have turns, they, uh, it also... It also allows you to be able to stack more up so the cooldowns don't come back, which you can um, have more. So if you had like another unit that was uh, that was also applying curse, that's uh, more damage that's being applied on. And it is a damaging effect. Um, and I believe it's like opposite to poison. poison. I don't, I don't know, know exactly if it's better because I haven't tested out uh, uh, like a free to play early game type of build for curse, but there are units, and we'll go over some of the units that provides curse in a moment. But uh, let's get out of this. We just finish this up. So, so with curse. One thing that I've been thinking, like, which one is better, curse or poison, curse or poison? And probably a lot of you will just be like, poison, poison, because that's what everybody does is poison. And not many people really know about what curse provides for you. But I've noticed uh, throughout progression, one of, uh, one of the members of my guild, also a leader in my guild, a rescue panda, he also has... Uh, Twitch as well as a YouTube, you should definitely go check him out. Links to his his um, stuff will be in the description box below, so please do check him out. He has some really great content. I'm not just saying it because I like the guy. I'm saying it because it is good. But uh, I was checking, uh, we was like chatting back and forth in our Discord, you know, about our teams and everything and how we were progressing through Wrath. Because I did start messing around in Wrath before I went into a full progression and into strength. And I've noticed we doing the same dungeon and I'm completing the dungeon faster than he's completing the dungeon because poisons are slower is damage that you get once the enemy gets a turn where curse is immediate damage they immediately lose in 20 percent which uh the poison they get that percentage once they get on and get those turns and you have to stack the poisons to get a lot of uh to, you have to stack the poisons to get a lot of damage out really fast. Where curses, every time you drop a curse, they're losing that, they're losing that damage immediate. They're losing that uh, health immediate. They're losing it, and they don't regain it even after they lose. Even after they uh, the curse wears off and they get the bar back, they can heal up to where the curse uh, stops it, but they can't regain it once the curse is uh, gone. So that's that's guaranteed twenty damage. 20% damage if that curse does that. 15% uh, if the curse does 15. 10% if the curse does 15, does 10% uh, uh, to the health bar. So depending on what unit you have and what the curse provides for them, that damage is always going to be. So that's something to look in. So that's something for you guys to look into moving forward. Let's get out of here. And let's go to the units that we use that provides uh, curse. So here, the uh, blaze and fla faceless or fire faces, whatever, says cursing all enemies, disabling 30% of their HP for three turns. Insane. Probably the best curse in the game, hands down. 
the, and it's an AOE effect, then implants a parasite that will, that will devour 10% of their HP increasing, 8% of the elapsing turns, and that's just going into the next part of it, which this skill is really great. If you got this unit, you have an OP unit that's great for progression that does a lot because he's going to eat away at things and pair it together with uh, the fire uh, death lord or fire necro. All right, this is not his second skill. Okay, attacks all enemies with an attack increase based on max HP. If this attack is critical, curses them, disabling 15%. Oh, I thought it was 20. It's 15%. Okay, so correction, 15%. 15% of their HP for three turns. Now, it was two turns, but when I skilled it up, it went to three. And I think that was the same for him. His was uh, his for three turns, yeah, and uh, I skilled it up. It was two turns and it went to three. So three turns is a long time to be able to have to be able to have a curse up. So you look at it, that's 30% that this one's hitting for. First they lose 15, then they lose 30. And then this this skill is reusable what was it? Uh, and the skill is reusable, what's it the fire necro, his skill is reusable in three turns. Once skilled up, I think it's four turns. Uh, uh, before and when skipped up is three turns and he gets so many turns fast so for people to have this you will end up utilizing this skill again before probably one or two units maybe even moved so you'll be able to have not just the 15 that's from the first uh, first hit 15 from the next hit um, and it's really strong against bosses if that's a question that somebody uh, want to ask yes it destroys bosses and being able to lock down a boss this is why I say in my videos like where I where I have to focus the boss down and like forget about the ads because I know the power of my units and what they provide by locking down a boss and making sure they hit those skills on that hit those skills on that boss, even though they're AOE, but just being able to provide the extra utility that those units do, I'm able to lock them down and damage really fast, right, rapidly fast, rapidly. I don't think it's personally better than Poison. I think they're both on the same even playing field. It's just a, not a lot of people like myself playing around with these units and putting out content like I am now, talking about how Curse works in relation to Poison, because we could be in a Curse meta. If somebody said build curse units, we probably could be in a curse meta. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really tested out, like I said, I haven't really tested out anything F2P and I want to kind of utilize some other units that does curse and uh, actually see where that see where that goes. Uh, I might even start another account, to be honest, and just try to pull whatever F2P curse units that I can and just build those and try to progress them through the game and see how that works out. I don't know. I might test that out in the future. Who knows? But I definitely, I definitely believe uh, Curse is a strong, and I say a strong force to be reckoned with in this game. Not only in the PVE side, but the PvP as well. So way. we're gonna go ahead to the uh, the MMAG dot farm once again and look at some of the units that provides us with Curse. One of the first ones. Uh, I believe uh, somebody pointed out in one of their videos was the air um, imp that provides an AOE curse that does 20%. This is probably why I got confused. He does 20%. It, the cooldown is on a six six turn, so he would definitely need like double meditation at some point if you can get really good accuracy on him. Um, for this to be effective because he doesn't have any cooldown reductions on this skill. That's the only thing that kind of sucks about it. But he also can get curse on his first skill, which is good. And that would be the one that I would hope to. 40% chance, but that's also 20% that's possible. So uh, I got three of these sitting to the side that I want to kind of test, test uh, and utilize uh, later, which I think is pretty good. So that's kind of that's kind of um, important. Also, another one that I wanted to test out. I wanted to test out personally in the uh, strength dungeon is the Earth uh, Succubus, who has a third skill that goes all the way to a four-turn cooldown. That's a single target, but it uh, it does curse, which is uh, which is cool. Uh, I want to fire my ass off to pull to get this uh, Air Necro 
from um, the TOT uh, rewards summon things or whatever because he also provides a, some really he also provides curses some really good utility and skills so he not he's a great. lot of units that really provides curse right now especially not a lot of uh f2p units nothing that's really that gr that great outside of the four stars and possibly the one three star that has it so so curse is definitely not a thing unless you was lucky to pull a unit that has a curse on them um other than that really it's not much else there's not much else about it other than just knowing that the utility of it is great especially if you have two units that's providing a curse so that's a lot of damage really fast um that 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 can happen and i believe it's great it's been doing so well for me everywhere in the game personal uh personally mostly on the pv uh pve side it was kind of in the pvp until i pulled uh regular dps and started working on those so it's not like it helps with extra damage but it's not the most necess uh the not the biggest necessity to have for me pv uh pvp wise at least on um ao ad is a different thing because i run it on ad as well so that can be a pain in the ass for somebody, especially they come across my lockdown defense and actually. So as far lockdown. as building around these kind of units, um, you definitely want something that's going to either slow the enemy team down, which is going to provide them less turns, and something that will provide you more turns uh, to make them the most effective, whether you're getting your cooldowns ref refresh, like uh, let's talk about like some of the units I use personally like if you get your cooldowns refreshed like how I use the water holy sister she makes sure that my uh, units get their uh, skills back just like that so so they're able to use them as rapidly as possible killing off as much uh, HP as possible making it easier for uh, my DPS to get clean up and that's kind of my strategy in the strength dungeon disable as much HP as possible let my fire kitty clean up the rest of the damage so it doesn't have to work as hard and allows my runs to go faster the same way if you want to run an attack bar booster like the fire pony per, uh, per se like his third skill which says increases the speed of all allies for one turn refills their turn bar by 20% and clears them from one harmful effect my second monitor is really shitty, so I can't read. <laughs> I can't read because it just doesn't. It doesn't display text really well. But uh, but getting that attack bar boost from that twenty percent is clutch. So uh, having something like that helps. Having the fire necro himself because he has turn bar uh, mitigation in his own by killing the enemy's turns. It says like uh, his passive if uh, any attack is crit chances of terrorizing the enemy for one turn so that's a stun then he refills his own turn bar by 50 percent so that's anything whether he's using his second skill or his first skill to attack and then his first skill i rolled the good one that says attacks an enemy and steals 25 percent of their turn bar so if they're nearly max you're talking you're talking about um that uh, like 74 percent turn bar gain that you get if their turn bar is near, uh, is at like 99% or something like that. Lots of numbers with percentages on turn bar, so I'm just saying that as an example. Uh, in most cases, you probably won't get that much out of it, but it still helps because you already got 50%, which makes them faster, and uh, which makes them be able to lock down enemies even faster. And then his second skill saying attacks all enemies with an attack increase based on all uh, max HP. If the attack is critical, curses down, disabling 15% of their H, uh, 15 percent of their HP for three turns. Now he's landing those criticals. He's getting turn bars. He's locking the enemies down. They're not getting. They're not getting as many uh, turns. And by him, and by him on his first skill, stealing, uh, stealing turn bar. He's cutting out a lot of the turn. They, uh, he's cutting out a lot of the turns that that in particular unit will have. So building building around those kind of skills helps the helps curse do his job a lot better by slowing the enemy down mitigating the damage that the enemy can output and increasing the chances of you landing more curse and keeping the enemy uh 
low on low on H, low HP impossible. And if you pair this with poison, it's even better. So this is kind of where I want to talk about as far as curse kind of versus poison is really not much of a versus is more of this is what curse does don't doubt curse if you do have units that provide curse i'm sure you guys saw the list of units that was up there that also provides curse um that also provides uh curse on their skills so i mean if you have any of these units don't count them out they're really great you can build around them it would definitely make your progression I mean, also faster and that curse does not care about immunity or shields so if the enemy has one of those up your curse can still go right through it and that's kind of like the biggest benefit of curse that it just don't care like you're all wrath boss oh you you want to crit and get a shield <laughs> fuck your shield curse the hp out of here get locked down and get destroyed by a fire monster in your own dungeon you know fire necro and all but um that's kind of how that works, and I like it. I like it a lot, a lot, and I hope you guys like it too. And that's all that I gotta say now. And this is the Gamer Dude signing out. I hope this video was beneficial to you because I try to benefit you guys with these really long videos. Uh, I would like to make them shorter, but for you to understand exactly where I'm coming from, what I'm saying, this is why I provide this content in a more longer fashion. And uh, if I could shorten it up, I will. But I'm going to stop talking now. And I'm out. Deuces.